Hi everybody. I'm going to start this one by showing you my Spider-Man pour from yesterday. I love how it turned out. It's so cool. I really like it. So then I'm going to zoom back in. Oh, let's get a little, there we go. Um, and after I made that, I wanted to keep playing in the paint, so I made some tiles. Um, a couple whoops, that I didn't like how they turned out are over here. Um, this one, the strange cell showed up, which is ugly. And same thing happened here. I love all of this, but then those showed up. So what I did was I poured, tilted it all off into the cup, and then ribboned it, and then tilted and kept doing that, and that's how I got this look. Same thing. <laughs> Next time I'm not using silicone. Maybe it won't happen. The one that did turn out, though, I like. Um, this one. I think that's a cool look. So I'm going to pour today. Um, I have two left of these. These are those uh, wooden trays from Target. And I put gesso on it. And I can already tell because the gesso does not want to scrape off very easily. Because this is one that I have not finished yet. Um, and you can see the paint just peels right off. Um, here's another one. And uh, so this one's really pretty. I think I, I put one today up in my um, kitchen, like along the ceiling. It's kind of a cool look. But I also found out, because I remember at the time asking if I painted and then I resin, will the resin keep it on? No, it won't. If I were to want to, because this happened on the one I have in my kitchen, put my thumbnail right here, uh, I would peel, I could peel this up. Um, so I think I could have, in this case, because I didn't prime the wood, um, another remedy had I probably kept some resin, you know, brought it back here, then it would have, I think, totally encompassed it and sealed it. But this already, I can tell, is going to hold up a lot better. Um, let me get these out of the way. Because these are a super slippery um, wood. So there was just no tooth for it. And I should have known better. So I'll probably end up keeping those all um, or giving them to like friends and family, you know, not paying customers because that would not be right. So I'm not using um, silicone because I do want to resin this. Um, so all of my paints are mixed with Floetrol and water. The white paint I am using is Dutch Boy Interior. And the other paints I'm using, Artist Loft Metallic Purple. I love this. It's so easy to mix up. It's really thin, really runny. Um, in the Artist Loft Metallic Blue, in Liquitex Basics Magenta. So. Oh, and on that Spider-Man pour, I love the Metallic Red, which I had mixed up, which was, uh, what well, was Metallic Red from like those Deco Arts, those craft paints, mixed with yellow. So that was a good, a good look. And I don't think they're silicone. And I keep wanting to add orange to this, even which 
orange and purple turn vomit, but I still have the urge to do it. So who knows? But I'm not gonna. I'm gonna fight it. Fight it, fight it, fight it. Oh gosh, I'm freezing. We have like our first bad weather day today. Um, so ice and cold. Just not ready for it. Okay. Trying, I'm looking around, trying to decide what I want to pour with. I think I'm just going to use this medicine bottle because I've got a bunch of them. And I might as well use it up. Um, yeah, I'll use it. I'd rather, yeah, uh, yeah, I wish it was little, but it'll be fine. start doing my white out of smaller containers, waste less, easier to control. Uh, medicine cup lids. Oh man, I can mess. And they are interesting. They have uh, they have a little thing and then groups for the child proof. And I'm thinking paint could come out of those grooves. So I need to take a look at those. Now I am lifting this and tilting. these colors would be good because they're some colors you know you always know are going to work cells that came up when I did that. Oh, I forgot how last time I did this, I taped up the edge of the sticky to paint down. I just tilt slow. my daughter going on and on about something. <laughs> I don't know what she's talking about, but I can hear. Yeah, 
Like most things electronic, I gave up on the microphone. Tomorrow is the first day. Winter break starts. 3.15. Not that I'm counting down the minutes or anything. So people have said, you know, you're killing me how you waste all that white paint. And I'm like, I know, I know, I know. You know, but this is how I do it and blah, blah. But after my pour, the uh, hammer pour that just was a disaster, that 20 by 20 that ended up in the naughty seat. Um, and I just wasted gallons, well, not literally, because it wasn't even literally one gallon, but so much paint um, that that's why one reason I switched to doing it out of this cup. But as you as you can probably see, it is helping me to be more um, precise with my tilting, with my movement, um, I, except for the fact I just put my thumb in that, I am getting better pores uh, because I am having to, I'm not just dumping more white on there. I'm really thinking about it more. Hopefully I won't be going through as much white, which would be nice, because that pour was just, that was just a lot of paint. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is beautiful. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh my gosh. I love when I like stun myself. That's the best. I should see. Oh, it's really thick in here. Oh, my daughter loves us. She just called out. It is pretty thick in the middle. I'm okay tilting some of this off. I'll tilt it into this because it will be like a lavender. If it actually tilts into there. I'll probably just tilt around it and go everywhere but in here. See what I said? Everywhere but. Ooh, this is making it even prettier though. Stretching out all the other. Oh my gosh, I am just stunned by the beauty of this pour. There's something about working on circles. This is just amazing. I'm gonna, I had 
know all that was there. So I'm going to tip it a little bit again. So my coworker and I, if you're watching, her and I exchanged our Christmas gifts today. And uh, we each picked something we from our junk drawers and gave it to the other. I don't know if I mentioned that yesterday. Because, you know, other times, you know, so much time with gifts, it's like, well, you're giving me... It's like, I give you 15 bucks, you give me 15 bucks, you know? So I was like, this time, let's just look through our junk drawers. We'll give each other something from in there. Oops. So now I have a light lavender to add to a pour, if I feel like. I am absolutely in love with this pour. So happy. So, so happy. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, share this video with your friends, and I will catch you next time. Bye.